So what would have been, you, last time you let me use your 135, didn't you? Yeah. So where does this come in? Huh? Well, Dave bought this one. Yeah. From Jean Day's husband, actually. Right. You know who runs a tractor club? Okay. Because he wanted one. Yeah. It needs, it needs wash. Oh, look, there's a nest. Yeah, on I'll, I'll get that out. I'll, get them out. Yeah, I'll give it, it a good needs, wash. It needs some oil and that on all this, don't it, really? Yeah. You ain't got a knife in your pocket, have you? Yeah, with. So a 35X. They, I know they did a 35 as well. So what's the difference then, Jack? Do you know, I don't know whether it is the PTO. It could be the PTO. Yeah. See, they've taken the drawbar off of this one because they had a plow on it. Yeah. Yeah, old Dave, you loved it. You loved this little old tractor. Yeah. Well, where you used to use... I, lo I like, as mad as this sound, I love the look of this tractor from behind rather than from the front. Do you? Do you know what I mean? The back end of this just <laughs> looks brilliant. I, just, it's the up wheel arches, you know. Yeah, well, they are just... the original. You see, a lot of people put square ones on them and that's wrong. No, I don't like those. I that's wrong. No, yeah. So you didn't have this one refurbed or have you had no, this one refurbed? No, 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 it's not been touched. This is as original yeah, as it came. As we it? bought it, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. We that... just added the mirror. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, mirror on there. That was only for a track to run. And what sort of horsepower are we talking then, Jack? Well, not much, is it? Matty, I don't know what it'd be. What, is it 35 horsepower? I don't know. I'll um, I'll do some research tonight. I'll, uh, I'll get all the horsepowers and that. Yeah. The only other thing is the oil. And I suppose we ought to have done that before we started. Yeah. There's plenty in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet. Yeah, it will look good. When how long have you had up. this one then, do you reckon? How many? Um, how long have you had it? 18 odd years, I bet. Really? really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're smart, aren't they? Well, they fed the nation, really. Yeah. You know, half, just after the Second World War and that. Yeah. All these little tractors done all the work. Yeah. Are you safe, you two? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're off on an adventure, aren't they? Nick is tight, Hold tight, Mum. Hold on, hold on, Mum. Hold tight. <laughs> we only go about five miles an hour. <laughs> So was this one of Dave's favourites, was it? Yeah, it was. The, the, what did he like the about it? The 135, you see, was one that, that my dad bought. Yeah. So that had been on the farm when Dave came. Oh, I see, because that's, that's the one we used last time, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And you'd done now, that I, up. I've you? had power steering put on that. Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh, Rightly okay. or wrongly. Right. Because I couldn't steer the bloody thing. I use it to roll the menage and that. Yeah. It's still got the old tax disc in, look, from yeah. 2015, is that? Uh, I don't know. No, it's 15? before then, I bet. Was it? 2003? Looks like 15. Yeah. Don't know. No, I ain't got <laughs> I can't remember. I we used to all have to have these I in still... our car, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still tax them now, you see. Oh, you st yeah, yeah. It's free. Hmm. Um, but you're talking about the brakes. Yeah. I mean, when we used to do certain work, like plowing and that, yeah. you can... I mean, Dave's tied them together now, but you could use one or the other oh, to yeah. make it turn... Turn a bit sharp. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Mm. Yeah. So you've got your independent brake. So you can yeah. hit this one and that will stop this yeah. wheel, won't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's in here? Is this the air filter? Or? Yeah. 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 I'm no mechanic. These are your uh, up and down on that's, your arms? Yeah, that's your up and down on your arms. Draft control as well? Yeah, yeah, that's oh, for yeah. your plowing. Yeah. What did you use uh, use this for then? So back in the day when you had your, oh when you were farming, what would you... Oh, I used to have, um, what, and that, it wasn't a hay bob then, it was, um, I'm trying to think what we called it, and bloody thing, I could have put it in the edge, it was a hateful thing. <laughs> used to toss the hay about. Yeah. And I used to use this for that. Um, Oh, like a tedder? Sort of yeah, thing? it was a tedder, but it wasn't called a tedder. It was called something else. Oh, are you talking about Keith the... Keith would probably remember yeah. what it was. Before the hay bobs come in, it was a hateful bloody machine. <laughs> Absolutely hateful, because if yeah. you got in the next row, you 
you got into all sorts of trouble. Yeah. Christ, their dad used to shout and holler at me. <laughs> Keep playing the outside. <laughs> We're heading off to uh, the tractor run tomorrow. So I've been over to Jackie's, we've just seen that. And uh, she's lent me this little 35X. So tonight I'm going to do my research because I don't know much about these old tractors, but uh, I'm going to give her a little bit of a spruce up, give her a little bit of a wash off and see what we can do with her. Uh, but really cool tractor. Um, you can't help but drive it and smile. It's just mad. Um, completely what I'm not used to. Uh, it's high. <laughs> I'm all over the shop with it. So tomorrow should be a good laugh. Um, lovely tractor though. I love, you know, I love... You know, it's, they're just cool, aren't they? You, you just can't help but like it. Um, we're going to wash her off. I'm not going to wash everything because the greasy bits want to stay greasy uh, but the shiny bits want to be shiny we'll give her some grease in the axles and stuff like that and wherever there's a grease point we'll, we'll put a bit of grease in her um, we'll get the rubbish out of uh, inside the wheels there uh, got used on the plowing match uh, Jackie's plowing match from last year so yeah I think this is all electrical we probably don't want to spray that so we're not going to touch that but um, we'll give a little bit of a spruce up and then tomorrow morning we'll head over to the um, we'll head over to the tractor run and show you some cool tractors bringing out the big guns if you don't use chrome that stuff is brilliant get a bit of shine on it Spent a little bit of time last night, just cleaned up the paintwork a little bit. Uh, not as not as dirty as it was, but it was on the plowing match before. But um, yeah, this is our little 35X. I've done some research on it. I've been looking at some stuff. I just wanted to put them here next to our newest tractor. There's a 58 years difference there. Um, yeah, what, what will happen in the next 58 years? <laughs> what do you reckon, Father? Ain't much difference, is there? No. I'd probably just about run the oil pump on that one, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Aye. Yeah. 12, 12 litres a minute on this one versus 210 litres a minute on this one. But for its age, that was punching well above its weight, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, for the size of it and the age of it, Matt, unbelievable. But so there's 58 years here. Where do you see it? Say so you can go another 58 years. Where would, where would you see it going? Driverless, I would imagine, mate. Driverless, driverless, probably hydrogen power. Yeah. Um, that's that's where it'll be, when it all done with GPS. And trying to see, I've had a few follicles on there. <laughs> Get a quarter of an inch off the line. And <laughs> my ramp was vicious. No GPS on there, is there? No computers, nothing like that. Just simple. This well, one, this that, one's a that, special that's one. That's what I was saying to you yesterday, mate. The skills will be lost yeah. with GPS and all that. There's a different skill in setting up gps and all that i'm not yeah disputing that yeah this is a but young man's driving one. skills yeah. will be lost yes yeah i agree you know I agree. that's uh learn the proper way before you start well that's what we brought up on that yeah you were we, you know our jobs at the start you all you chain iron and rolling that's what you went you know they were your first jobs yeah and you just progress from there this was the first model, the 35, I believe, don't quote me on it, but it was the first model where they went from uh, the grey, because they went from the TEF grey colour yeah. scheme, yeah. then they went to a grey and gold, yeah. uh, which was the first 35, I believe, yeah. and then they went to this red and grey, which is obviously still here, 58 years on, yeah. they never changed it. No, so no, no, no. It's pretty cool. And in their day, I mean, that was, a, that was an upgrade from the 20, yeah, yeah, because this one's got your lock-in diff at the back, yeah, hasn't it? you know, mate, you imagine what they did with that compared to a horse, and it was just phenomenal, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And ever so light, man. You look at the size of that to that, and like you were saying, ratio to horsepower, it's not massive. No. Th this one here is a, a two and a half litre Perkins engine with 45 horsepower. Right up to a six cylinder farmer? Yeah. Six cylinder with yeah. 205 horsepower with variable rate horsepower, it can boost. Uh, yeah. But look at the size difference. Foot you got 45 versus 205. But these boys would have spent equal amount of time on these, Matt. You would have spent yeah. all day on that. Yeah. You know, 
So he, will you see one of these in 58 years? Like you see one of these. Do you know what I mean? Things were made different then, weren't they? Oh, yeah. Things were made to last. Thing, you know, this is just after the war, isn't it? You know, yeah, I would have 20 so. years after the war. Yeah, I would have thought so, man. So things were made to last and be durable, weren't they? Yeah. What, what do you see on here, farmer? Because I, this is all foreign to me. This, to me, is the electrical system of sorts. Right, that's the old school alternator. That's a dynamo. Yeah. Uh, an alternator, I, I, I don't know the exact figures, mate, but an, an alternator basically would put out probably three times the power of that. Right, OK. And it's the upgrade. Yeah. So that starter motor is exactly the same, Matt. Yeah. There's, there's no difference in the starter motors. Fuel pump. So yeah. instead, of, you know, like these new ones have all got electric fuel pump. This is mechanical, probably works off the camshaft, I should imagine, or cam and just flicks it, diaphragm in there, and just pumps the fuel. Yeah. And on a new one, you would have electrical air filter, Matty. Yeah. That's all that is. Just a cup um, of the air filter, yeah. Whether that's an oil immersed one, I, I, I don't know. What well, I can't so read the that. exact oil level. Right, so that's an oil immersed filter. What does that mean? Sucking the air through the oil. In the bottom of that would be... Um, oil why, that, would, why would they do that that will catch all the crap oh right yeah all the run dust it and catch the dust yeah, yeah. clean it out uh refilled oil crossed iron in one of them for years mate right um but basically matty high and low range on here so we've got six speeds haven't we uh that's reverse reverse first second third i couldn't even start a thing yesterday into the middle <laughs> into the middle yeah <laughs> i didn't know that and if you what you'll find with a Massey, always we were taught as kids, it will always go from reverse to second, right? Easier than first, reverse to first, right? So if you were as a kid, because you you never had any brakes, little the one thing that you never had was any brakes. So the brakes sometimes worked, sometimes didn't. No, I've noticed but this if, one. That brake worked. If you had a loader <laughs> on it, um, if you had a loader on it, you would always go from reverse to second, right? Because it would just go into second, always easier than first. It, uh, that, that you know it's just something you learned as you went along pto down this side matt yeah how does that work i don't i don't know anything about these old right, that will uh, that you, you push it down once to engage the pto yeah so you, you push your clutch right down yeah if you feel your clutch it will go right down and then there'll be a hard bit at the bottom yeah you've got to push it down again yeah right to the floor slide that forward let your clutch off that'll start your pto right um I can't read that, but I would imagine that says ground speed PTO. Yeah, ground PTO. So you go right forward, and that will then put the PTO at the same speed as your wheels. Yeah. So the faster you go, the faster your PTO would go. Would you have, say, trailers with a PTO-driven wheels? You could wheels? do. You yeah, could. you could do. Did yeah. you have them back then? No. 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 Um, but that's, that's the sort of thing it would be yeah. for, isn't it? There wasn't many things that, you know, we, we never used anything much that was grain speed PTO, Matty. No. Um, I've got this lead, this pipe here, comes around the back. Yeah. And to me, it's a one feed hydraulic, like a tipper or something. Yeah, it's a tipper, yeah. That's so you connect is. your pipe in there, do you? Yeah. And then how do you operate it? Um, I have no clue on this particular tractor, but what they'll be, you'll, you've probably got to alter a valve map. Um, Right, uh, I would imagine if, that's, if there's no valve on it, mate, I yeah. would imagine you've got to pump your hydraulics. Right. So uh, what that will be, it'll be a feed off your arms. Yeah. You'll lift them right to the top. Yeah. And that pipe, if you do that, you will probably see that pipe flex. Right, okay, yeah. So you've probably got to lift your thing and it's then your, your arms will lift right to the top. Yeah. And then the oil will come up that pipe. Right, I've got and it. And if you connect it, I would imagine if you pick your arms up, try it and see, you'll see it. Yeah, I'll, I'll have that. That's what there. I should imagine. What we used to have on here was a diverter valve, um, which you could, on the ones we used to have, the, you had a diverter valve that you could divert from your arms to your loader. Right, okay, and then yeah. We would have another little control panel here that would uh, work your loader. Yep. It had a splitter valve that you. And it all worked off your arms, yeah. it all worked off your lever. Yeah. You would have a diverter valve down this side that would divert from your rams on your loader to what would be in these days your grab, but in them days. Oh, the okay. Power. So you kept having a switch. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. Yeah, it was easy. But yeah. as a kid, you got you got used to doing it. Yeah. So you'd have this right to the top, and that would be constantly pumping. That would be constantly pumping. Yeah. But if you had a loader on, you would work. You, you could divert from your arms onto your loader. Yeah. And you would work your loader off that. So instead of lifting your uh, three-point hitch up, it would lift your loader up and down. Yeah. Then you would drop it forward. You'd have 
you, you just got to know. There would be a mark, we had a, these things as markers and you would run in the middle so they were sort of not pumping. Yeah. And then you would shift your diverter valve and then go back again and it would squeeze your squeeze for a peri loader. Right. That was just on our yeah. yeah, everybody's. Was I'm different. glad you're here because I know I, I literally well I've not I've had no experience with them. I know how to yeah. basically move them, but that's it. Well, everything if you look at it, mate, it's just a base can you? That, that's the fuel pump this side. Let's have a look then. That, that's your fuel pump. I, yeah, I guess that. So I've got a slight leak on this uh, oil filter. Is it? Uh, yeah, it could be what just round the top. Yeah. Yeah, but very that's, tiny. That, that's, it's nothing, mate. Right. That, that'd be all right. Yeah. Day. And that's you can tell your cylinders because that's going to your injectors. Look, that's your injector pipes this end, so you can count them and count how many cylinder tractor you got. Yeah. Um, so you know what you got. That's a three cylinder Matty, isn't it? Yeah, three cylinders, 45 horsepower. And the, the X had a little I bit more think, horsepower. I think they did a four cylinder 35 as well. Yeah. I don't know when that came in, I've no clue, mate. Right. Uh, I, I think I you can know. buy a four cylinder 35. Right. They Nothing. gave it to the Chinese market and they gave it to some of the African markets to make copies of them. Right. So they're, and they're still building them today, yeah. if you can believe that. Yeah. Um, what have they got on badge nuts these days? Uh, TAFE or something like that? Uh, the Chinese Adam Badger TAFE and uh, the, the others Adam Badger something else. I can't remember, but it was quite interesting. I thought that was quite interesting. Yeah. I could only find some grease points in this front axle and here. Is, yeah. Should I be looking anywhere else? No, you don't really might be one on the pivot on the front, just under the end. Underneath? Undo them, just put your axles out to where you want it. Sweet. I, I would imagine that would fit potato rows and stuff like that, wouldn't it? Yeah. Fuel goes in the top? Yeah. Near, doesn't it? Yeah. How do I do it? This way? Open there. In there. Fuel and water. You just put a drop in it. Put some in? Yeah. That'll just have blue antifreeze in that. But yeah. I would imagine it's been done. Yeah, I well I see I did check that yesterday though. It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> right.